Welcome everyone to the 11th video in a series of videos on solar and wind energy estimation and forecasting application developed in Matlab. I'm Vinat Kiran Gaikwa, the developer of the application. I have a Master's of Technology in Power Electronics and Power Systems from Sardar Patel College of Engineering, Mumbai. I'm currently working as a Junior Project Fellow at Germany, Gujarat Energy Research and Management Institute under Dr. Sagar Kumar Agrawal. In this video, we will have a demo on the wind energy estimation app using the Wibble wind characteristics. So, as we know from the previous videos that the wind energy estimation app is a sub-application within the wind energy application. Okay, so if we click on this button over here, we can enter into the wind energy estimation app. But we will not do that as the wind energy estimation app and the data acquisition app are connected to each other as the data entered by the user in this application is transferred to the next application that is the energy estimation application we have an option that is a button over here to click and we can move on to the next application but I have opened the application and entered it with some data so this is the energy estimation application for wind turbines and this is how it looks so we will uh, simulate our wind turbine plant in, uh, in steps so the step one is to input site data so i have input some site data like the project name it's a wind plant plant capacity based on based on the data we have filled in it sums up to 138 megawatts but we have to enter it in kilowatts and then there is the latitude and longitude of the location it is 23 and 72 somewhere in India or more specifically in Gujarat and the altitude of the place is 100 meters and the second step in simulation is to enter the simulation period and for this demo this is not that useful because we are not going to use uh, the simulation duration but rather we will be using something different so let us go to step 3 which is a very important part of the simulation process that is computation options and weather data and the first thing we can enter is the simulation resolution in minutes and even this uh, which I have entered over here that is 15 minutes is not going to be part of the simulation but uh, it's good to have it there and we have two modes so of simulation that is when the user has wind and temperature files in a particular resolution or the user doesn't have the wind and temperature files associated to the location of the wind plant so we will take the former case that is when the user doesn't have the wind and temperature files so what how can he estimate the energy of the wind power plant so it can be done using the Wibble distribution and this is the option which we click I know I have written in Trellic and it will be corrected in the next version and let's see what happens actually if we click on the user option and this gets disabled and uh, other buttons like the temperature, wind speed and loss parameters the staff simulation over here get enabled but that is for a future video and in this video we will be looking at the Wibble distribution if we click this button we will have a new window pop up and this is the Wibble wind probability distribution window over here the user can enter some input data which is required that is the wind speed resolution we will get to know what it is let it be 0.1 the Wibble shape factor let it be 2 which makes it a relic distribution and then the type of data the user has. Now the user may not have a sub hourly sub hourly interval data of the weather files for a particular location, but he may always uh, have a yearly mean speed of wind and yearly mean temperature in degree Celsius, which is easily available from the net, or even for particular months if necessary. But for this demo, we will concentrate on the yearly part and let us say that location has a wind mean wind speed of 12 meter per second and 
the yearly mean temperature of 30 degrees because it's hot in India. And let us press the wind probability curve. This is the wind probability curve over here based on the wind speed resolution, the wheel shape factor, and as you can see, this is a metallic shape which we are getting. And the yearly mean speed of twelve, which is somewhere over here, and this uh, yearly mean temperature that is thirty degrees uh, will be used later in the simulation. And okay, so this is the probability axis, that is the y-axis, and this is the wind speed axis, the x-axis. So what next? So this is how your wind speed is distributed uh, on the geographic location. Okay, so what next? So what next is like we can have these results pop out if we click on compute and plot. So let us see what happens. So this is the graph which we are looking at right now, and this is the same relic curve, but now in this um, it is the same curve over here, but now the x-axis for this curve is in hours. And for this, the green graph represents the energy in kilowatt hour per meter square. Okay, and this for the blue graph represents probability in hours. And over here, for both the graphs, blue and green, this axis represents wind speed in meter per second. Okay, and some of the important results which we compute are the wind power at site per meter square in kilowatts. Is 1.748. The wind energy at site per meter square, kilowatt hour, and this is per meter square. All these values are per meter square because we don't know the area of the turbine. Okay, this is for the generalized turbine. So the next result is the wind turbine power. So now it will be almost half of this because the CP which has been considered over here is 0.5 which is very much ideal but it's okay to have an uh, estimate value of some kind with us and then this is the wind turbine energy which it can capture per meter square and I notice that this is capital I'll change it to a small case in the next version okay but this is not enough I guess this is not enough uh, we have some uh, data given in the data acquisition app and we have to use it this is for a generalized turbine but we want like if there is a yearly mean speed of 12 and a yearly mean temperature of 30 how would how would a plan constructed out of the turbine data which we have inputted in this data acquisition app behave or some kind of estimation for that that can be done too so for that first we have to go into the loss parameters window okay and for this demo I think we will keep it to default values there is a lot of things going on in this window we may we will come back to it in the future video and for this thing you can always remember that you can have the user defined values once you know all the theory and you know how your plant works or may work depending on your experience but for this simulation, we will keep it to default values and we will just hit OK. And as it has been written, do not close the window till the simulation completes. So we will just minimize it. And then we can just start the simulation button and wait for the results. And yes, we are having these Excel files created over here. It will take some time to do because we have four types of wind turbines and each having progressively one more sub models. And the wind type one has one, type two has two sub models, and so on. Like the fourth one will have four. It is computing all those values and storing it right now into these uh, Excel files. I'll show you how uh, these Excel files look like actually. I have them here. Yes, so this is like for a wind turbine plant type 1 total distribution. So we have all the total energy for a given year, and this would have been 
for those particular months if we would have chosen the month option but this is all in watts we can convert it and this is the feed pump. this is now distributed uh, values which have been computed um, if we look this is the WTG that is energy output that is the power grid that is the energy which reaches the power grid and we are seeing zero pause cut and speed for this turbine is 3.1 something yes and then we will have all this value still the cutout speed like this and the summation of all of them is available over here in watts okay so this is how the excel sheet looks like they return and it has created all those four things but we have seen how they look how they look let me just delete them okay and this is how uh, the ribble wind probability distribution things helps us and this type of simulation is useful when the user doesn't have better files and appropriate of appropriate resolutions to do a complete simulation also, this app is useful for wind energy potential analysis of the location with minimum data. Moreover, the user can have a fair understanding of the amount of energy output to be expected from the different types of wind turbine installations in the prospective wind turbine power plant. And we have covered all that things, only the monthly part has not been covered. But it's okay, that's all about it. Thank you.